Hi there and welcome to today's vlog. Now uh, today I want to pick out another of the little passages that uh, I've discovered in this book that I've been reading, John Wesley, founder of Methodism. And uh, today's is a question that was asked of John Wesley, which really uh, knocked him for six. He didn't know how to answer it. Remember that John Wesley was a, an Anglican priest. Uh, he was uh, in America at this point. He'd gone to America as a, a kind of missionary to share the gospel, but he was really having a struggle. Uh, on his uh, journey, he'd met with a group of Christians called Moravians. And uh, through his contact with the Moravians, he'd really been impressed by the depth and the reality of their faith. Um, and he was attracted by them, by their lifestyle, by their demeanour, by their faith. And he was having a, a conversation with uh, one of the Moravian elders. Now he's in America at this point. Uh, the, the elder was called uh, August, August Gottlieb Spannenberg. So Spannenberg came to meet Wesley and uh, had um, a few questions for Wesley. Let me just read to you from the book. My brother, I must first ask you one or two questions. Have you the witness within yourself? Does the Spirit of God bear witness with your spirit that you are a child of God? Wesley was surprised at such questions and did not know what to answer. So Spannenberg was really getting at the root of Wesley's faith. Was it real faith? Was it faith based on a, a real living experience with Jesus Christ? So Spannenberg, when he saw that Wesley was struggling to answer, carried on. He asked, do you know Jesus Christ? I know he is the saviour of the world, replied Wesley. True, said Spannenberg. But do you know that he has saved you? See, Spannenberg's making it very personal to Wesley. It's all right to preach uh, the gospel, but is it real for you? That's the question that Spannenberg's getting Wesley to address. So Spannenberg asks, do you know he saved you? And Wesley says, I hope he has died to save me. Do you know yourself? asked Spannenberg. I do, said Wesley. But in his journal afterwards, he wrote, but I fear they were vain words. See, John Wesley was a preacher of the gospel. He was a minister of the gospel. But the truth that came home to him afresh through that conversation with Spannenberg was that the gospel was something really external to him. He'd not, he didn't experience it for himself. He preached about Jesus Christ, but he didn't know him personally. And that was part of the struggle that Wesley had when he was in America. And he came home really, really despondent. Um, he says something like, I went out to uh, save uh, the heathen, but who on earth is going to save me? Uh, and so it was, uh, not until that uh, fateful day for Wesley, the uh, 24th of May, 1738, in a meeting in Aldersgate Street, when he said, I felt my heart strangely warmed. Something happened to make it real for him. About a quarter before nine, he writes in his journal, uh, while someone was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Christ, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I felt I did trust in Christ, Christ alone for salvation. An assurance was given me that he had taken away my sins, even mine, and saved me from the law of sin and death. And it was that that completely transformed John Wesley. That personal experience of the living Christ, that ability to understand that Christ died for him. And Wesley 
came to believe with all his heart that Jesus on the cross paid the price for his sin. And uh, that uh, spirit-inspired understanding and entry into that new and real uh, experience of Jesus, that relationship that carried him through the whole of his life, was life-changing not only for Wesley and others around him, his brother Charles, uh, George Whitfield and others, but for the nation and the nations. We need to know in a personal way that Jesus died for me. God bless you. May you know his living presence with you now and always.